Hey there YouTube, Bearman here again. Thought I would make a video today about what is one of my favorite AFK gold farms in the game at the moment. So this is located in Tenaris. We're on the uh, coast here over by Steam Beetle Port. And as you can tell by my Gathermate add-on, um, there are pools all the way down along the coast. They stop right here. So the route that I'm gonna run, it's gonna start up here and just, you know, follow along the coast. What you're looking for out of these pools, oily blackmouth, uh, the firefin snapper, the chests from the floating wreckages, as well as stone scale eels. Um, in those floating wreckages, you can get various grains. I think they sit around mid 30 to low 40 levels. Um, typically, mostly vendor trash. You can get lucky in terms of the drops in those chests. Uh, back in phase one, I actually got a transmute undeath to water recipe out of one of them. Uh, that, that sold for about 800 gold in phase one, bought me my epic mount. So you can definitely get lucky in terms of the amount of gold you can make here. Uh, but what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna go ahead and I'll run it for an hour and see what kind of gold I come out of it with. Um, I do have alchemy, so one of the, like I said, you're getting black mouth oil, fire oil, and stone scale oil. If you have alchemy, obviously you can take these fish, turn them into their secondary materials, and then, uh, so for instance with the black mouth oil, what I like to do is use uh, that, and then you also get some strangled kelp uh, just from fishing here. Um, and then I use those to make some free action potions. I usually get like, I don't know, maybe like under 10 probably uh, per hour created there. Um, the fire oil I'm just sending over to a bank alt and storing until uh, phase five when the elixir of firepower comes out. Um, and then the stone scale oil actually recently has been a great money maker. You can see the historical price there being 34 silver, but uh, right now they're about a gold and you can use that. I can either sell the stone scale oil or I can take stone scale oil and uh, turn it into one of these. It says two gold, 40 profit. That's definitely not how much you're going to be able to sell that for the potion. But uh, I've noticed that both greater stone shield as well as elixir of superior defense typically sell pretty well. You know, they're not hard to get rid of. Uh, stone shield potions have been the way that I'm going though. Uh, mostly because thorium ore has been really cheap, so I'm not really putting any money into these, uh, you know, aside from the sunk cost of my stone scale oil that I'll be fishing, but, you know, no actual cost there, so. All right, so what I'm gonna do here, I'll uh, go ahead and I'll start fishing, get my timer going, and uh, I'll follow up with you guys if I got any info in between, but otherwise I'll be back in about an hour. All right, see ya. All right, so we're about halfway through right now a little bit of lag there uh but i wanted to give you an idea as to what i've been catching so you can see i've been stacking up the chest we'll go ahead and open those up in a second um but you're also getting i forgot to mention uh, you're getting rumsy rums you can see there that i got a strangle kelp from this you can get strangled kelp from any of these pools uh, i have been pretty lucky in terms of the contestant there hasn't been a single other player hoarder alliance here. I am on a layered realm at the moment. That may have an impact. I would bet that there's someone else on the other layer doing this. I do see 60s here and you know even level 40s. Uh, people that would be questing in the area over here doing this gold farm as well. I was also taking a look at the uh, drop rates of items for these trunks. And it seems that the drop rates they have some items in them that are accurate on the forms, or not on the forms, um, like Wowhead and those types of websites, but they don't have the totality of what can drop on there. So I was trying to find the drop rate of rare recipes and patterns. Wasn't able to find much. I have gotten, like I said, I have gotten one of the transmute on depth of water from these. So I know you can get transmute recipes. Um, I've gotten some low level enchants. None of them have been worth anything though. So you're probably best chance the most value you can get out of these trunks is going to be 
from a, you know a rare drop chance of uh, either a recipe or something like that for the most part you're just getting greens and cloth so if you're a tailor kind of like how an alchemist can take these and you know take an extra bit of profit out of it you can take that cloth try and if you maybe buy some stuff off the auction house or if you want to go out and farm the extra materials that you need for whatever it is you may craft it's a good way to make a little bit extra cash on this and there's one more thing that i wanted to show you before i'll go back to fishing here i'll show that in a second just a little uh, skip over this rather than having to swim around i'm not sure if it's something that's well known or not so I thought I would show it I should be done with this pool in a second here see it took me quite a while to make it down here there are pools all the way down but this has been uncontested and I don't think anyone was here before me either so I've been pretty lucky but I'm just gonna work my way all the way down and back up and just rinse and repeat that man this pool swim around it's not too big of an inconvenience to swim especially if you're a druid but rather not so just straight up here and you can run right over it and on the way back it's the same deal just a little bit of a quality of life improvement there and I will go ahead and open up these chests in a second just to give you an idea as to what we can get out of here See, I got a journeyman backpack. That's pretty good. Those were pretty rare. Lots of leather. Forgot about the leather and the potions. It's raw silver. Got a green. That's about it. So leather, cloth, some green, some potions. And I got a nice backpack out of that too. Most of the greens you're going to get aren't going to be worth very much, but just to give you guys an idea and as well as bag space how much bag space you're going to be using um, it does add up pretty quickly but usually within an hour I'll fill up the amount of bag space that I have here all right see you guys we will be dealing with some aggressive mobs in this area the one I just showed the skip to down on the bottom if you aren't level 60 I probably wouldn't advise going down here these striders do path by you when you're fishing the pools fairly often. As a level 60, the aggro radius is pretty small, so I can avoid them almost entirely the whole time. Uh, you can see this glider. I got a little lucky with the pathing there, but they do really become a pain. If you aren't level 60, I probably wouldn't come down in this area. The only issue with that is every pool that you fish obviously is going to respawn in a different spot along the coast. So if you spend all your time fishing just in this upper area here and ignoring the bottom one you might end up with a lot of pools down here that you can't reach and you're lacking spawns uh, so that's a problem and it's also a reason as to why i fish the firepin snapper even if i wasn't holding it for an investment i would still fish it out because it holds a spawn so if you don't fish the firefin snapper you might be missing out on some other pools later on if you're only going to be here for maybe you know just one run down the coast it's okay to skip those but if you want to actually be running up and down and farming this long term then you do want to make sure you're grabbing every pool that you see also fishing level requirement i'm not 100 percent sure i know that in order to have 100 percent catch rate um I believe it's 300 but I would imagine the minimum requirement sits somewhere in the 150 uh, 175 range like I said I'm not 100% sure I'll put it on the screen now if I am able to find something on it I wasn't in my short bit of research but anything just bring a lure or just train your fishing all the way up before you come over here 
or you could level up your fishing here. Um, that's also a good option. Okay, so there it is. One hour. You can see all the loot I got is in these bottom three rows here. Pretty unlucky on the greens as far as that goes, but uh, a lot more thick leather than usual as well. This was with no contention. I think this was probably one of my better farms that I've done recently. This isn't gonna be amazing gold per hour. However, it is a nice semi AFK. You're just kind of hanging out, maybe watching some Netflix. And uh, this is really easy to do in the background. You don't need to worry about it too much. You have your audio up so you can hear the bobber when it goes down. And it's just a really casual gold farm. Um, if you do have alchemy, leatherworking, or tailoring, obviously you want to turn these into you know finished materials. I'm going to go ahead and do what I can with these alchemy supplies. I don't have any tailoring or leather working alts, so I'll just go ahead and put these on the auction house. And I think I'm gonna vendor the greens. But uh, I'll see you guys back when I have that all done. And all right, we're back. I went ahead and turned all of those materials into some potions. You can see I got a handful of greater stone shield as well as free action potions. It is worse on Gulch weekend, so I think free action potions might sell for above average prices since I was making about a gold per potion that I made in terms of how much the materials sell for and how much the potion sells for and it does look like it's roughly about a almost a gold above market price right now so we'll see how much I get for that um, for the stone shield potion says I was gonna be making about 50 silver per uh, so you will make a little less money if you don't have alchemy you could even have an alchemy alt or have a guildie make these potions for you. I lost yeah, a little under a gold from turning everything into this. Uh, I made a little bit back from the two greens that I vendored. So, you know, we're, we're sitting off pretty much at zero because I think I made about 40 silver from raw gold from the chest. So we're pretty even right now. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll throw everything on the auction house and uh, I will be sending these over to my bank hold. Um, so I'm missing out on about, looks like maybe anywhere between two to three gold uh, there, but that's not too bad. All right, I'll see you guys back when I'm done with that. All right, so I gave it a couple hours, sold off what I could. Let's go ahead and see what kind of profit I made. These here were below vendor value on the auction house, so it wasn't worth putting them on there. So I went ahead and vendored them. And let's see what I got in the mailbox. Went ahead and made sure this is fresh, so you know my starting gold. About 46 in here. Giving us about 50 gold. And if we go into the auction house, there have been a few things I haven't been able to sell. Sell those. But right now, we can ignore the zillion coin, but I have 12 greater stone shield potions. Up still, as well as a stack of 10 Rumsy Rums. The Rumsy Rums aren't selling because the posting is fairly high above market price however no one's undercutting me either uh, so just no one's really buying or selling them um, just at the moment I think the server is a little quiet right now which is why I'm having trouble getting these out for instance if I were to sell these maybe Thursday or Friday, these greater stone shield potions, I would probably be able to offload them a lot easier. Just no tanks are raiding at the moment. The day that I'm recording this is uh, Monday. Um, and then the strangle cup is gonna go to the highest bidder. But we can see I have roughly 60 gold in the auction house still. Uh, this was 36 stone scale eels. So I don't know, you know, if you were to sell that off, that would have been 
roughly about 36 gold. So, if everything sells correctly, I would have made about 110 gold in this hour. Uh, however, I think that if you were to skip the alchemy, maybe you would have made closer to 60 gold or so, 70 gold, because uh, I did turn profit on some, first of all, on the stone shield potions, but also on uh, the reaction potions I used with the black mouth oil. But overall, I think this is a great AFK moneymaker. You can see it's anywhere between probably 60 to 100 gold an hour, assuming no competition. Uh, the more competition you have, obviously, the less materials you're going to get, so less gold per hour you're going to make. But this, I was lucky, I had no competition. And in that instance, about 60 all the way up to close to 100 gold per hour. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I've been having a lot of fun making these videos. Um, it's nice to see a little bit of traction. You know, I just hit 10 subscribers. That's always cool. Uh, love seeing likes and new subscribers. So, uh, if you enjoy the content, be sure to, you know, let me know. Uh, leave a like or subscribe, whatever you want to do. But other than that, I'll see you guys later. Peace.